Yo, this is Team HOC, Jacob here, um, coming at you guys with kind of an update slash deck profile. Um, so hopefully there's going to be more videos going up. Um, I'm out of Job core, so I get to, you know, like live in the real world with internet and all that good stuff. Um, so uh, I'm going to be using any spare time that I have that I, I don't know. That I can, I guess, um, start putting up more vids, you know, play a little bit more yu gi -Mons, all that good stuff. So there will be more vids, you know, keep on subbing, keep subbed, uh, all that good stuff. Keep liking the videos, thumbs up. Um, but anyways, uh, here's just a quick, here, let me get all this stuff out of the way. quick deck profile. Uh, you guys probably seen this deck a hundred times. Um, it's just uh, what I've been playing lately. You know, we'll start out. We're tri-balling in here. Three shiny balls. Uh, really key piece of the combo, of well, one of the combos in the deck. Um, Master Hyperion. You know, really good. Uh, 27 beats. Um, the summoning condition, like how you get it out, is just ridiculously easy. Um, for you guys that don't know, if you've been living under a rock, uh, you could remove one agent um, from the field, the hand, or the graveyard to special summon. Uh, 27 beats, uh, you could remove one light fairy from the grave to um, destroy one card on the field, on your opponent's side of the field, I believe. Um, so it's really good. Uh, mini JD. Or not JD, excuse me, Mini Dad, kinda. Um, not as broke, but way easier to get out. So, and you can run Trip. So, there's that. Easy, easy. Earth, the strat of the deck, pretty much. Um, I get to summon, look for one two, or excuse me, uh, one agent from the deck. Add it to my hand. Um, it's also a level two tuner, light fairy. Um, so, I mean, you could get the combos if you already have Monster out, search, uh, you know, for that plus, sink into a five mainly, uh, it's really good. And you could run three, it's not to like, oops, three Venus, um, it's level three light fairy, uh, 16 attack this time, um, what she does, you pay 500, get a shine ball out. Uh, from your hand or deck uh, What this does is enable you to get into gachi gachi uh, so that you know Gives you the beats and the wall pretty much you summon this uh, you could thin your deck uh, You get gachi gachi out pumps her up to 2k uh, So now you have an even bigger beater with a 22 wall out and uh, You know your decks two to three cards thinner um so you're in three. They can get dead, but uh, you know, hand size, keep that up, all that good stuff. Um, which is, you know, hand size. Really good. Um, odds are we'll have a big hand most of the time because of the um ability to hold cards like the second, the third Venus, um, if you're sitting on a Hyperion to make make the play, stuff like that. You could just throw it down in D, boom. Um, it's a dark. Um, it's really good because you have th a good amount of level 8s. So you could utilize its um, ability to pitch a card and uh, take your opponent. So if they got a dust, a scrap dragon, anything like that, and this survives the turn, you know, pitch a Hyperion if you want. Uh, it can enable you to hit direct. Um, a lot of exceeding. And you have that tuner in the deck, so the level change effect's pretty good too. Um, two Thunder King. Uh, I don't know about these main decks. Um, like they're, they're really good, but I'm thinking I want to test Reapers. Um, the reason I would want to test Reapers is because you know they're that that. Staying defense field presence kind of thing, and I really don't need that that much. But you know, it's a dark. Um, I could go into Hyperion Reaper and then start raping their hand. Um, for now, 
These are good until I get the Reapers. I don't have any Reapers. It's awkward. Christia. I think the best card in the deck. Um, you know, it's really good. You get it out pretty much says I win unless you have some sort of destruction. Because, you know, they can't drop the Gores. They can't drop the Trag. In the mirror match, they can't do anything. It's just really, really good. Um, you know, play it get the Hyperion back, uh, they destroy it, it goes to the top of the deck, you can play the Hyperion again, uh, it's just super good. And it's the Beats, 28. Um, Herald, um, you know, I've, I've been going back and forth between this and Valor, and I'm really liking this because it seems like, like, you should have Venus in your hand. Um, or a shine ball, if you have a sh dead shine ball, you know, you, you have the hand for this most of the time. Um, and the fact that it doesn't have to be in main phase one, and it doesn't have to be on the field, um, and it destroys it, just, this makes this card really good. Uh, the BLS, because you could run it. Um, I have like five darks main decked, um, but... It can sink into five a lot, um, which, you know, Hyperion and Catastro are both dark. So, you know, you could run it. Gores, because it's Gores, if they hit you direct, you drop Gores. Just stack the shit out of them. It's really good. Honest, because there's a crap load of lights. Yeah. And it's a wall. And you could just sit behind the 19. Yeah, Tangu running that. Boom. Sangin, because it has a crap load of targets. It's ridiculous. So good. And it's a dark, what's not to love, about the three-eyed monster. Next, spells. Um, we got Trip Duality. Um, I know a lot of people probably aren't going to like Trip Duality, um, considering that there's a lot of three ofs in this deck, so I shouldn't be digging for, like, cards. I mean, I know duality is usually to dig for those one of cards that you need, and this deck has a lot of tutors and stuff. Um, but I don't need to special summon every turn. I could go, you know, duality to get um, Earth, search Venus, you know, I'm, I'm golden for that turn. Or, you know, I could be sitting behind my Venus, um, gotchi gotchi, playing duality, um, getting the outs. Like, I could search my Hyperion, I could get my Christia, you know, to make it so when they do get over my gotchi gotchi or my Venus, I have that play to back it up. You know, so it's, it's pretty good. Um, double MST... Just, it's pretty stable right now. Um, maybe once Dark Worlds come out, might go to three. Um, but for now, you know, it's just the right amount of destruction, just like it's always been. Well, maybe not always, but you know. Um, and we got the Trinities, the Stapes, the Reborn, the Whole, the Heavy, pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's the Brokes. It's so good. Uh, mind Control. Because we have main deck tuners, uh, we go into exceeds a lot, uh, it's just an all-around good card this format. Uh, if you're not running it, see if you can. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just really good. Traps. Double call. Uh, this is a new addition, I wasn't running it before, and maybe that's bad. Um... I can call into a good amount of cards. Um, I could call into my boss monsters, my Hyperion and my Christia. Um, I could uh, call into Venus to reuse its effect if possible. Um, you know, call into Sangin, uh, call into Gores, and it's just really good. Um, yeah, so double call. I'm running double bottomless right now. I was running one bottomless, one warning because I don't have the second warning right now, but I decided to go back to the double bottomless. Um, I'm already paying with Venus, and eh, I need some sort of summon dis disruption, so you know, maybe if I get that second warning, I'll try it. Um, but for right now, I'm going to go back to double bottomless. 
Judgment, Moses, and his fine bitches. TT. Uh, this card's so good right now. I mean, it's always been good, but it's just it's really good. Um, the reason that this is better, this format, though, is because it is like a heavy monster format. So, I mean, they're um, shaking. Sorry, guys. Um, anyway, so nine times out of ten, I think uh, people are going to be, you know, maintaining that hand size until they explode. So, this has always been good turn one, but you can enable it to be better mid game. I mean, late game, not so well, but. You know, always side it out too. Easy side out. Um, I guess we could go through extra deck here. Let me get this. Uh, um, this is like not a hundred percent, but pretty close. I'm fumbling it. Um, decisive arms. Trish. Uh, one of these need to be a scrap dragon. The state bryos. Castor, Hyperion. I was running TG in this, so I have. I need to take that out. Um, now for the Exceeds. Leviathan, Levier, and Double Gachi, because I've gotten two Gachi Gachi out before. Like I went, um, got it out the Venus way, and then uh, something happened. I was able to drop Trag, and I got it out another Earth, and a Synchro wouldn't have helped me in the situation. So I went into a second gachi and then got something else out. I don't know. It was a big beats. Um, there's that. Then I guess we could go through the side deck. Like there's a lot of work that needs to be done on this and it's locals. So we just go through double cyber, double kaiku, double crow, the third. These are bad. I'm gonna take one out. Um, the disappearances aren't helping me in my local at all. And the double crush. Um, the reason that I'm siding Crush instead of maining it is because there's a lot of random, random bad players that run really, like, horrible, not not even creative decks, just really, really bad at my locals. Um, so this could could be, like, has the potential, potential to be more of a hindrance. Um, so, like, against the good people or even the, like, mid-tier people, uh, I could side this in and it works wonders. But anyways, this is uh, Team HOC. You know, keep on summoning. Thanks, everybody. Uh, click on the ads. They're going to be down here somewhere during the video. Hook, hook, hook me up. <laughs> anyways, this is Team HOC. Peace.